Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so um, I wasn't actually going to sit down and record this today. Um, that's because my jaw's been niggling quite a bit all morning and I was like, I don't know what I want to talk about. Um, and I don't want to just sit down and just ramble if I don't have a clear idea of what I'm talking about. And then I realised that it's the end of the month vlog. Yay! <laughs> and as soon as I realised it was like the monthly roundup one, I was like, all right, okay, those are usually short, simple, sweet ones. Um, if I do it now, then I won't forget to do it later in the week and it's done. And, you know, it's not like there's much else that's going to happen this month anyway. So I might as well get it over with now. Um, so April, <laughs> April has been, um, an interesting month, um, as I've mentioned a few times, a lot of this month has been dominated by my jaw pain, like today, for example, as I've just mentioned, it's not a great day for it, um, I have noticed in the last week or so, the pain has sort of been ebbing and flowing a little bit more unpredictably like previously it was just like no it's just pain and this would always cause pain um and the pain was quite intense um but i have noticed in the last week or so it's not been continuously as intense it's definitely still been like niggling in the background and i'm not sure if it's a case of i've just gotten so used to the level of pain that it's not bothering me in the same way that it was or there were a couple of things that happened last week which were positive in a lot of ways but also means that I've got a lot of work to, to focus on and um, there's a certain level of adrenaline that can, can kind of sort of come with that kind of, oh okay, I now need to sort of focus on this, this thing and get this thing sorted and get this thing done um, and that can sometimes just be enough of a distraction where although yes definitely still painful and as i said i'm definitely feeling it a lot more this morning um at the same time you know having those other things there to focus on um having those other things there that are sort of making your adrenaline flow a little bit more um adrenaline is a fairly good pain relief <laughs> i mean i know i know it's not a pain relief that you can control um, but in terms of the effect that adrenaline has on your body, um, in the same way that endorphins can be a really good, um, mitigator for pain as well. That's one of the reasons why I do sort of like treat and pamper myself a little bit when I need to, it's because these things can help with like manage the pain. They don't like necessarily reduce any inflammation or treat the cause of the pain, but they can at least mitigate some of the pain that you're feeling um but they're not reliable methods of pain relief because you can't make yourself um release endorphins and you can't give yourself an adrenaline rush um they are very sort of like situational things uh that you don't have a huge amount of control over i mean there are certain things that you know you know can probably help create th those sort of um hormonal releases but they're not like reliable and you can't sort of like go yeah if I do this then I'll get this and it will help with the pain um but yeah I, I definitely think um uh, having this this bit of good news last week even though it means a lot of work um probably helped um from a psych psychological point of view which again like sometimes just having something positive to focus on or just something to focus on that is going to you know have that sort of continued mental effect for you um can help not like take the pain away but make the pain a bit more secondary and it's one of those uh things that as i've discussed before um i don't believe that stress causes pain in and of itself but i do believe if you're more stressed out you're going to feel more of the pain because that like your, your brain has doesn't have anything to offset it um but, uh, you know, having this, as I said, having this bit of good news last week, having something that I know I'm going to be focusing on um, for the next couple of months um, is, at the moment, enough of a distraction 
for even though the pain is still there and as I said it is particularly bad this morning um it's feeling a bit more manageable and again I don't know if it's because of the distraction I don't know if maybe the change of temperature because um it's April we are now properly in spring and it has actually been getting a little bit warmer over the last couple of weeks as well that could have created a pain relief um in and of itself because like the warmth can sort of like loosen things and if the problem is being caused because everything's been so cold and so tight and I know the cold has been negatively affecting it then maybe the opposite of that is actually helping it a little bit and it's just like easing off a little bit but as I said it's 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 not great this morning so <laughs> um and then there are a few other things that are just going on in general um which also may sort of like background be having an effect but I, like, I don't want to say that it's getting better because I know for a while how my body works. It's just a case of something has caused me a little bit of a relief, uh, whether that's psychological, whether that's the uh, release of certain hormones because of certain things that are going on, um, whether that's because the temperature happens to be more pleasant um, for it at the moment. Um, I don't know, but I do know that April has very much been dominated by this dual pain and that I'm having any relief from it at all towards the end of the month is not a bad thing. Um, other things to do with my April, so um, last time I talked about this I said I had one of the things in for um, sorting my windows and hopefully making my windows a little bit less drafty. Um, was already had already arrived um, I've now installed it I did actually in the end need to order a little bit more of it because my windows are so big and I hadn't quite anticipated the size of the rolls correctly um, I actually managed to get that in in place um, over the last two days that I had off um, and my extra bit of the plan so like last time we were talking about um, I was talking about this I was like, I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, a particular thing, but I think it's like something that I may need to redo every year in order for it to be effective, and I'm, I'm a bit worried about the costing there. I did a little bit more, more research and discovered that for about the same price, for this, about the same start-off price, um, for what this other thing would cost, um, I could just get neck curtains. I wouldn't have to keep replacing the neck curtains. So I'm getting neck curtains. <laughs> uh, so one of the other things that I did on my last two days off um, was I made and installed the neck curtain rods. Uh, so I haven't ordered the neck curtains yet. Um, I'm planning to do that on my next payday, which is later on this week. Um, so I get paid fortnightly. So like I couldn't afford to do all of it in one go. Um, so I was like, I'll do this bit of it now. And then I'll do the next bit of it like when I get paid next. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, it's one of those things where, yeah, neck curtains are a little bit old fashioned, but if it's going to help regulate the temperature of this room, both in the summer and in the winter, because neck curtains are also good at reflecting the heat during the summer. Um, so it's gonna like hopefully stop this room getting quite so stuffy um, during a heat wave. I mean, it's not gonna like, it's not not like either side of it it's not going to be foolproof it's not going to be as effective as getting new double glazing or triple glazing or whatever put in but it is going to be a cheaper way of helping to reduce heat loss during the winter and helping to reflect um the sun for, from when it's on that side of the house which it is from like midday onwards very much um definitely of an evening uh, during the summer it's also going to mean that I'm not going to have to half draw my curtains at like three o'clock in the afternoon because the sun is in my eyes um, it is going to like hopefully help with a lot of the issues that I have with the windows at the moment um, I quite like neck curtains so I'm actually really looking forward to sort of getting those ordered and um, I'm getting them made to, to size so I measured hopefully got the measurements right these windows are so big that it i'm i'm pretty sure the windows are taller than me <laughs> um yeah i'm i'm fairly certain the windows are taller than me um 
Where are they? Oh, I will need to investigate that. I mean, I've spent a lot of time still on these Mondays off, on my last two days off. Um, you'd think I would know the answer, but I'm like, I, I, I don't remember. Do I have to duck when I'm in these windows? I think the windows are taller than me. Um, but yeah, it's one of those things that I'm, I'm at a point where I'm kind of like, yeah, that's, that's quite exciting. I've made a few decisions and like, yeah, that's definitely been part of my April has been trying to figure out ways of making this flat a bit more energy efficient for as cost effective a way as possible and doing something like net curtains yeah they're probably more they're going to be as efficient as the other method that i'd researched and i know that um they're also going to be a one-time cost and then it's just simply maintenance of the curtains which is just making sure that they get washed every so often and you know that's not that's not the end of the world um that's fairly easy to do. I mean, like, I've, I've done a fairly good job of creating and installing the, the rods. <laughs> so, yeah, it's one of those things where it's not going to be the end of the world um, to have to sort of maintain the curtains because, as I said, it's, it's mostly just going to be a one-off cost and then just washing them um, whenever they need to be washed. And it's kind of like, okay... It's one of those things I kind of wanted for these windows anyway, um, just because I knew it would help with the sunlight coming in uh, for my migraines and stuff. So um, I'm not like I, I don't care if other people think they're old fashioned. I do actually kind of want them. Um, so yeah, that, as I said, that's also played a big part of my my April. So like my my April has been jaw pain, jaw pain, jaw pain, and worrying extensively over how to make my flat more energy efficient. Um, actually done a fairly good job this month of keeping on top of the costing of everything as well um i have a smart meter and i've been like regularly checking my smart meter to see where i am at in terms of how much i've spent this month i know it's next month that my new tariff kicks in and my rates will go up slightly from there um but as long as i'm keeping it like well under the amount that i'm paying by direct debit i should start building credit up um, I've already got credit, to be fair, um, just based on all like the mix-up and stuff that sort of happened, which was just so annoying and so stupid. Um, but I'm, I'm already starting to build up a little bit of credit anyway. Um, my plan is just to sort of work it as much as possible this summer that I am building up credit so that whether that credit gets paid back into my account and then I'm just using whatever to top it up um, during the winter in order to keep on top of it that way or you know how that ends up working out the more credit I can build up during the um, summer the better and again that's one of the reasons why I want to get the net curtains installed um, before the summer um, because if I can keep this flat naturally cooler which hopefully the net curtains will help with um, then I'm also not going to need to run the fan <laughs> And if I don't have to run the fan, that is going to reduce the cost. Um, that's going to reduce the, the cost of running this flat during the summer. And the more money that I'm saving uh, during the summer and the lower that I'm keeping my energy usage during the summer, the better off I'm going to be in the winter when, you know, if I, need, I, I want to be in a position in the winter where if I want to put my heating on, I can put my heating on. And the more I do now in order to ensure that, the better. So... Yeah, that's, again, as I said, that's pretty much where my brain has been at this month. Um, there have been a few other things that have gone on, um, so I went to my first protest. <laughs> um, for those of you who are not aware, um, the government said that they were going to bring in a complete ban on conversion therapy um, so that anybody in the LGBTQ plus community would not be subjected to conversion therapy anymore. Um, but they have gone back on that for trans people. Um, so during the course of the month, I've been aware of like a lot of protests happening all over the country. And as soon as I saw that there was going to be one in Plymouth, I decided I was going to go to that and I did go to that. Um, I left um when some of the other protesters were starting to try and rile up the police that had sort of shown up and i was like look i'm not here for that um i have to work tomorrow to keep a roof over my head so that i can afford these damn bills um 
but they did sort of like say during like all of like the little speeches and all of the people sort of like talking and stuff like that I literally like waited until the point where there wasn't really anything um being said anymore and then I was kind of like well my tumble is on I need to get back before my tumble finishes and these people are starting to be idiots and like being idiots is not going to help your case um so I was like okay I'm, I'm gonna just walk away from it now before like I get into trouble that I don't need to get into for you know in, in a way that's not going to help anything like I think antagonizing people does not get your point across um at all so you kind of you know you need to know how to fight your battles it's not so much a case of what battles you fight but how you fight your battles that can you know determine the outcome um in a lot of cases and it's kind of like well I don't you know there's no need to antagonize um it, it sends more of a message if you don't do that in a lot of cases so I was like I'm just gonna I'm gonna peace out now um but yeah so yeah that's that's pretty much sums up my April um your pain plus trying to work out how my lack any more energy efficient plus despairing at the state of the world <laughs> it's been a very positive month all right um I'm gonna end this one now um I want to as much as possible try to keep these under 20 minutes um for really for the foreseeable future until like my dual pain is not as much of an issue anymore uh the less talking I do the better <laughs> it really is um so I hope you found this one sort of interesting I hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever it is I'm going to be talking about next time and I will see you next time see ya if you've enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my others, and if you like what you see, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching, see ya!